Yin Di Tong Rap to Henry Wheeler's movie reviews, where I take a look at films that I've never seen before that others likely will have done, and it's Autism Awareness Month this month, and as I'm autistic, I thought I'll spread a word. That's the word I'm looking for. So I'll spread word of some interesting films that have autistic characters and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2008 martial arts Thai film Chocolate. I don't really know a great deal about this. I know that the director of Ong Bak made this so I'm intrigued because the idea of a martial arts film with a autistic protagonist is rather unusual. So let's give it a go and uh, check it out. Wow, that was so much fun. So the film involves a character named Zen who's an autistic girl living in Thailand with her mum and friend, cousin, sibling. It's never really clarified who they are in relation to her or maybe I missed that bit, I don't know. She has cat-like reflexes where she can catch things thrown at her without looking and her friend slash whatever. But anyway, he uses her skills to make her do street performing uh, to help earn money that can go towards Zen's mum, Zin's medical bills, uh, which we ultimately discover is for cancer treatment. In the meantime, Zen is quickly acquiring skills from watching martial arts films by simply studying the movements on the television. And while this is happening, uh, Zen's friend is rifling through bits and bobs in their home and finds a notebook with a list of people who owe Zin money and him and Zen go out and try to get the money back using her acquired martial arts skills and take that money by force. The fight scenes in this are excellent and Ji Jia Yanin, sorry if I'm mispronouncing their name, who plays Zen, is truly outstanding. She, she's just absolutely wonderful in the stunts that she does are pretty impressive. There's a lot of Jackie Chan influence in this. There's a, quite a lot of creative and often funny <laughs> bits of choreography that I really, really adored. Though, while there is a lot of wow factor, there's also a couple of moments that made me wince. I wasn't expecting to see a torture scene where someone gets their toe removed. But Gigi Yanin's acting is actually really great and this is so far one of the more realistic depictions of autism uh, from a character who is diagnosed as such. So out of the characters which do have a diagnosis this is one of the more accurate portrayals. Also it's not really a spoiler but people owe money to Zin because she used to be a gangster until she got in bed with the Yakuza, literally in this case, and gave birth to Zen as a result. But the guy who runs uh, the criminal underworld in whichever city it's supposed to be, I, I don't know if it's Bangkok, but they, they run the criminal underworld. And he has these people beneath him who are like uh, his assassins, I guess. And they're trans women, which, I thought was pretty neat. You know, I know Thailand is probably the most progressive nation in Asia for LGBT acceptance, but it was still pretty cool regardless. Seeing a film from 2008, which was, you know, 13 years ago, where you have characters who are badass, nasty people, and they just happen to be trans. You know, their gender identity is not really important to their character and doesn't define them at all, and I like that. Whether you can say that this is a, a positive <laughs> representation, because they are literally playing like gangsters, I don't know. But you know, at least they're not playing this stereotypical sex worker role. So I, I've got to give them some credit for that, because they could have just been very lazy and just be like, okay, well they're ladies of the night. Come on. Tell me about the lady boys. <laughs> the soundtrack's also pretty great. It has this early noughties indie rock vibe that I really enjoyed. And, what well, I mean, I enjoyed the whole film. It's great. I'm gonna give this a 8 out of 10. I had a blast watching this, and of the films that I've seen for this autism awareness segment that I've watched so far, this is one of the best. I have yet to see Ong Bak, uh, the film, I believe, that the 
director made before this. But based on the quality of this, I'm definitely going to give it a go. Uh, uh. So, thanks for watching, and let me know what you thought of the film in the comments, and let me know what you thought of my review as well. I'm open to all uh, criticism, constructive or otherwise. And if you've not seen it, then what are you doing with your life? Go and watch the film. It's great. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I've got more stuff coming pretty soon. So, look forward to that. Bye, have a good day, take care. Bye.